Welcome to the Jesselnick and Rosenthal Vanity Project. JRVP. Junior Vice President. Two and a half years later, true love rises again. You think you watched football last weekend? Then you're a damn fool. You watch nothing. The season starts now. Right where we're taping this in Hollywood, Bernstein High, uh, the Los Angeles Times reporting the allegations that two students at the high school spiked their high school team's water at a junior varsity football practice with a male enhancement drug has prompted an investigation that led to the dismissal of varsity coach Luis Barajas. Now, Greg, when they say male enhancement, like I know you've got you've got you know a little bit of everything back at your home. <laughs> Would you know which one it was and what what, what are the effects? Uh, they didn't specify. I mean, I would assume it was a Viagra or Cialis like product. They did not even find evidence that the students actually drank the contaminated water. They spoke to some doctors, um, who said they would really need to know how much you drank of, of this male enhancement product to know what the effects could be on a, uh, high school student. But I think we can all imagine. Here's what I'll say. Okay. And this should be common sense. First of all, this was a junior varsity team, and in the JV, anything goes. Secondly, how do you know if a bunch of 13 <laughs> and 14-year-olds have taken Viagra? That's like a placebo for a 14-year-old boy. We're talking Flintstone vitamin level uselessness to a 14-year-old boy, and they put it in the water during practice? Listen, if you love the game the way my father loved the game and my grandfather loved the game, then you practice with a full erection or you sit in the <laughs> sidelines flaccid because you must be injured if you're not running sprints and full pads with all the blood in your penis. <laughs> Goddamn PC culture is ruining the game. I don't even get to follow up on the fact that your dad and grandfather uh, used to just play football with the full-on erection. They played against each other, so we heard all the stories. <laughs> I don't know how it worked out, but uh, yeah, full-blown. If, like, if you weren't, if you were, like, they started to wear cups <laughs> Just so you wouldn't be able to find out if they had the erection or not. So like you could like I'm I'm okay to go in the game coach kind of thing. You like, know, like what were what were Thanksgivings like in the back backyard of the Jesselnick household? I mean, it was fun. We didn't play football. We just kind of just sat around and kind of like threw the football around uh with erections.